Tonight, legendary Ohio State football coach Earl Bruce is being remembered for his heart and his humor. About 400 fans, coaches, and former players filled St. John Arena for his memorial today. NBC4 Sports Director Jared Smalley is here now with more. Jared. Uh, Ellie, Earl Bruce turned 87 years old on March 8th. He watched the Buckeyes go through spring practice that day. It would be the final view for Earl of his beloved football program. Today, friends and supporters gathered at Ohio State to remember a fiery leader, a man always up for a good debate, and an unmatched presence in Ohio State history. Well, heaven just got a little more intense recently. I stand very humbled and appreciative that God chose Earl Bruce and my father to serve as my mentors and guide and teach me along this incredible journey. There'll never be a day that I'm not grateful and appreciative to the Bruce family for allowing me to be part of your family for the past 32 years. Over 87 years, Earl Bruce impacted thousands of lives, from the football famous to the Buckeye faithful. One of the highlights of that era was to go out to practice to listen to him. Bruce won 154 football games as a college coach, 81 of them at Ohio State. And even after his coaching days, his successors felt Earl's presence. I was an assistant coach for three years, but I was the head coach here for 10 years, but he was in the building, so really I was an assistant coach for Earl for 10 more years. Current OSU running backs coach Tony Alford played for Bruce at Colorado State. I'm 46 years old and I had never looked him in his eye and told him how much he meant to me. So I promptly told him exactly how much I admired him, how much I trusted him, how much faith I had him, and I thanked him for being the influence that he was in my life. And I looked at him in the eye and I told him I loved him. Football and family often collided in the Bruce family. Still does to this day. His grandson, Zach Smith, coaches the receivers at Ohio State. Although my grandfather is gone now, no longer present on earth, but I'll tell you two things. He's ever present, residing over us in heaven with my amazing grandmother. You work hard, love your players hard, and hate no one except Michigan. Go Bucks. After today's public service, the Smith family, uh, the Bruce family, friends gathered for a private memorial. His funeral and burial are set for tomorrow morning. The family asks you consider a donation to the Earl and Jean Bruce Alzheimer's Research Fund at Ohio State. Mark? All right.